Babington Nee Coulter was born in New Zealand and moved to the Gold Coast when she was just a baby. After blitzing family sing-alongs, school musicals and local singing groups, she was a favourite to win Australian Idol until her early departure caused one of the biggest upsets in the show's history. Since then, she became a young diva, has released two solo albums, and now she's got a smash hit on her hands with a dance floor thumper, Can't Touch It. Hands up for the totally taken, Ricky Lee! Mrs. Babington. I'm a missus. You're totally taken. I am. I'm very taken. Now, uh, uh, you've just got back from the honeymoon. How long ago? I have. I got back on Monday and it is my one month anniversary tonight. <laughs> you know what we should do to celebrate? What? Have I, have I popped Lip Ricky Lee's microphone? Did have I, I popped, popped Ricky Lee's microphone? I felt something pop. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. No. <laughs> That's why, that's why this very subtle piece of audio equipment oh. has been brought into our studio that maybe no one will notice. I thought it was mine and I've got two. Oh, oh I popped mine as oh well! Oh, my gosh. That's what happens when you hug the hot ladies. <laughs> oh, no, I've ruined it all. This is terrible. So, anyway, we're getting back to what you did on your wedding night. Wasn't that it? You don't want to know that. Why? What happened? Whack a chow. Yeah, that. Yeah, you hear that. Oh. Lots of it. OK. Did I go too far? No, I thought it was going to be, oh, we've got an amusing story about, oh, we wake up and there was wedding cake on our face or something, and then no. you've gone, no, we totally did it, like, all night. <laughs> Cheers. No, because so many people were telling me that, like, you get back after the wedding and you just go to sleep, and I was actually really not looking forward to going back to the hotel. But you know what we did? We actually stopped at McDonald's on the way home in my wedding dress in the limo, and I was like, can I have a Big Mac meal and 20 nuggets? And they were like, is that Ricky Lee? <laughs> now, do you know how I think we should celebrate your one-month wedding anniversary well, is by uh, printing your email address and mobile phone number <laughs> in a leading women's magazine. I Because that's what happened. You've oh done no. the, hey, everyone, you, you get the, the one-off photos, and they went, cool, how about a reproduction about of the invite? How about we just give everyone your phone number? So, because your email address and phone number was on the invite, and they printed it in the well, magazine. The email address was, a, was an email address that we created for the RSVPs for the wedding, so it's not actually my email address, but unfortunately the phone number was. Um, but it was it was an honest mistake, and I had a laugh about it, and I've been getting calls every day. Hey, is this Ricky Lee? Yeah, hi, how are you? <laughs> so um, I've had to change my number and do all that, but they, they were very, very, very sorry. But Ricky, what's, you, what's the new, the new number? Is that... <laughs> well, they're gonna, they've got it in a yeah, package yeah, it'll come later up. on. Actually, yeah. Ricky, I was also going to ask you, someone told me that you told all the press that your wedding was on the Saturday and that you are going to give them, like, 15 minutes with you and photos and stuff, and really? then when you got married on the Friday or something. I did get married on the Friday. I, I actually never had any conversations with anyone about when it was. I was just like, yeah, it's in a few weeks. And um, it might have been a week away. And I was like, yeah, it's in a few weeks. But um, I had people at my house and waiting, waiting at, you know, at the top of the driveway, in, you know, the morning of the wedding. And I kind of was freaking out going, well, why are there people there? Why do they care? It's... You came out in your robe and... Yeah, I may or may <laughs> not have way. turned around and... <laughs> I, probably shouldn't have, I probably shouldn't have told them where you lived. Yeah, well, I, didn't, how, I didn't know how they knew so where... So you, ne you never told anyone what exactly what yeah, day Yeah, I was like, was. hey, this is where I live and come and... No, I, I didn't tell anybody what the date was or when it was and... Is that why the other young divas didn't show? Maybe. Because <laughs> I heard they didn't come. No, they what didn't. What is their major malfunction, Ricky Lee, <laughs> knee, kilter, bultier, boot, batting thing? Um, look, I, yeah, I don't know. I was, I, was, I was really upset that they didn't come and we, we didn't hear from them and we kind of found out through their management that they weren't coming. Through and it was the management. I know. They, it, it, they are. It was really... They are divas in their defence. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Yeah, so no, it was tough. It was tough, and um, you know, but I did, I did get a, a text from two of the girls after, um, <laughs> like a week after the wedding, 
But um, it was good to hear from them. So. When they was it on yeah, the mobile like, oh. number that was printed in the Probably, magazine? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so now, but now you're out on your own, I and am. now is this you officially myself. now back on your own uh, singing solo? Yes, yeah, yeah, back to doing my stuff and, um, you know, went overseas for two and a half months at the beginning of the year and wrote all my songs and did the album and the single's doing really well and it's just gone gold this week, so that's very Which exciting. Which is really cool. Yeah. That's got to be great. And being with an independent record label, it's a lot harder, you know, for that kind of thing to happen. So I'm, I'm really, really happy at, at how it's going. You know what would make you happier? Oh. oh, like maybe winning 20 bucks in 20 seconds. Oh, my gosh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do the thing. Thank you very much. For the there it is. <clears throat> Are you ready? I am. No, I'm so looking forward to you answering this. I'm so scared. Let's start the clock. What do you think about people who don't RSVP? <laughs> <laughs> Ever patched anyone you actually didn't like? No. Yeah, good one. <laughs> Would you let me borrow your toothbrush? If you really want to. <laughs> you haven't smelt my breath in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is awkward. What's your monthly mobile phone bill? Oh, about $300. Oh, wow, good for you. Have you ever fallen in love with a teacher? Yes, lots of them. Oh, yes, lots of them? Yeah, I've, I've, I have had crushes on lots of my teachers. Who was your, like, at, like first? Who was the first one? Um, oh, we had a Canadian exchange student come over and he, I was in grade seven and his name was Mr. The, Tool. Mr. Tool? Yeah. We'd heard about Mr. Tool. Really? Here he is. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 he might have been there. I don't know what our producers are able to do. Ricky Lee, who would you turn gay for? Uh, well, there's a few. I would say Angelina Jolie. Yes. Beyonce. Yes. And my assistant dared me to say her. Lauren Brown. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and one extra question. Can I... No, that's... <laughs> Can I come and get the date and just hang out? That'd be fine. Uh, Ricky Lee's, uh, here's the plug, Ricky Lee's album Brand New Day is in stores right this very minute with the single that's doing great guns. Very happy for you. Thank you Thank very much. You Ricky so Lee! Much. Thank you.